Hey guys, in this video we're talking about steroids temptations because yes, let's be honest, steroids are pretty tempting. Seeing people that are blowing up their physique in just a couple weeks is tempting. Seeing people that are blowing up on social media, making millions, selling online programs, getting sponsorships, traveling all over the world thanks to the body that they reach through steroids, it is pretty tempting, all right? We see all the positive and we're like, hey, if only I can do that and just kind of hack my way through life. All right, well, in this video, I'm talking about that. What helped me overcome it? I've been training for over 13 years naturally, and trust me, it is tempting. Still to this day, it is tempting sometimes, all right? But in my early days of training, it was something that was a lot on my mind, and thankfully, I've never touched that, all right? It's something that I'm super happy, but at the same time, I can't be proud of myself because it didn't happen by choice. I'll tell you exactly how it happened and what helped me surpass that temptation when I was able to, all right? So, like I said, I started training. It didn't happen by choice, me saying, I'm staying natural for 10 years. I want to train naturally. No, it wasn't something that I was on my mind. I actually wanted to become Mr. Olympia. In my mind, I wanted to compete at the highest levels. And of course, steroids are involved where that's the case, all right? But when I started training, well, I started in Syria, 14, 15 years of age. Well, we barely had supplements over there. And I was living with my family, it wasn't even something to consider, all right? So I came to Canada, that's when things got a little bit more tempting because you, you, you arrive to Canada, things are real. In Syria, steroids, this, that, you don't even know if it's real, not real. Protein powder was not even real. They were putting a milk, uh, uh, chocolate milk powder and selling it as a protein powder anyways. Still milk, it's still protein. But let's move on. I got to Canada and I started seeing 17, 18 years old that are just enormous and they were all enhanced and they were telling me they were. So in my mind, it is pretty tempting. And I, I, I've talked about it with some people and they were telling me the budget that they were spending on it. And in my mind, it's like, whoa, I barely have any money to, to survive, basically. I just got to Canada, I'm working two full-time jobs. I was working in the kitchen, just trying to make ends meet. And I was buying a bit of supplements, protein, pre-workout, stuff like that. So that was my biggest investment, buying supplements. So how do you want me to save 500 bucks to buy a cycle and this and that and then you gotta do it for 12 weeks or 16 weeks or depending on this and then you gotta buy other stuff after in my mind it was only a financial blockage at the beginning so i'm like you know what i don't have the financials for it now maybe in the future and i want to see how far i can get with the protein powder because even protein was new for me so i didn't want to come and take everything so I just started with the protein and pre-workout. So trust me, at the beginning, protein powder felt like cheating. Because in Syria, I have never took a supplement, never took a protein powder, all right? Never. So I got here, started with the supplements, and in my mind, it was like an introduction to more. So I had the financial issue. So I'm like, okay, I'll just start with the protein and see how far I can get. And then slowly, hopefully, I have more money. Next thing you know, I was getting super strong, trust me. I was maybe 18 years old, benching three plates naturally, all right? But I was a little bit more chubby. Anyways, next thing you know, I get injured on my shoulder. And one year, I couldn't even do a push-up because my shoulder was killing me. So what happened is that I'm growing older and wiser with that time. And I'm realizing a lot of stuff. And uh, one year, couldn't even train. So I lost a lot of gains. And now I heal. So let's say, just for the sake of it, I'm 20 years old and I healed, but I lost a lot of muscle. So it did this, and then I'm like, well, I want to take steroids, but maybe later, but then boom, it crashed because of my injury. Lost a lot of muscles. So now I have to rebuild all that. So in my mind, I'm not going to invest in steroids or start doing that now because I was able to reach this naturally. So I want to get back to wherever I was before the injury to see if eventually I can consider it. So I built my way back into it. I built my way back into it. And then I'm like, well, I'm feeling pretty good at this stage. Let's see how far I can get. Let's see how much I can do more naturally before jumping on that. And always financials has, wasn't even, uh, it wasn't as if I had like 500 bucks extra every single month to buy. And this is the number that I just put in my mind. I don't even know the real number, but for me, it would be around $500, everything included, all right, if you want to do it properly. So next thing you know, I'm building back myself up, building my myself up. Boom, I get another injury. Trust me, injuries kind of were saving me. It's like my angels, all right? This time it was my hamstring that teared. I was sprinting with a guy just after my leg session, a guy that works at the gym, Cedric. So he's a sprinter, and I'm like, hey, well, I'm faster than you, this, that. We had this 
placed at the gym, boom, I'm running and my tear, my hamstring, another injury, all right? So injuries were kind of blocking me, but it was a blessing in disguise because if this wouldn't happen, I would have been well up unstoppable. Now let me take steroids and see what happens. Another injury got me back down and then I had to rebuild and rebuild. And after that injury, I'm like 23, 24. And by that time, I'm kind of growing wiser. I have a full-time job, which I studied cooking, started working in the kitchen anyways, but we grow wiser, all right? After 24, 25, hopefully, a lot of people decide to take steroids when they're at that younger age. They're all excited, 18 to 22, all excited and they do it once and then they get hooked on it. But me, thanks to the injuries, all right? I was an older, more aware, and then seeing the people that were talking to me about it, kind of seeing how they were going through ups and downs and they were addicted to it. So I was seeing the after because I got injured, so I was still around, but I didn't take it. So I was seeing that guy that was telling me I was serious and now he's addicted to it. He's not even coming back to the gym because he's in his PCT and now he's depressed and this and that. So I was not only seeing the positive, but then I was seeing the negative. I'm like, wait a minute, I got to pay money for this. And then I'm addicted for it to all my life. And then I can't even enjoy training naturally because I've got used to becoming Superman basically for two, 12 weeks. And now I can't even enjoy getting a pump naturally because, well, I've got addicted to becoming Superman. It's like being a millionaire for a week and then you lose it all and you gotta go back to being a homeless or just a regular man. You're not gonna enjoy it anymore. But if you've never seen what it's like to be a millionaire, you will still enjoy your regular life, right? So what happened at that time? Well, uh, yeah. I just started seeing the negatives of it and I'm like, you know what, I want to push more naturally. I want to push more naturally. I want to push my natural limits. All right. That was my goal. Push it to my natural limits. And then if it happens, I consider it because I was seeing the negative of it. And trust me, up until now, I haven't reached my natural limits. All right. When you have that mindset of I want to push myself, you will never stop progressing. People take steroids because they quote unquote reach their natural limit. It's BS. Nobody has reached their natural limit. Nobody. Nobody. You can always progress. Yes, the progress naturally slows down, but there isn't a real natural limit. All right. What happened with me is that when the lockdown happened, I started really focusing on my diet. All right. And when I was focusing on my diet, I realized that I was getting so shredded and I was looking better than people on juice. Getting lean helped me look better than people on juice. So I'm like, well, why should I take juice then? If I'm better than them, I look better than them and I don't need to do the PCT and I don't need to be depressed and I don't need to fall back into all the depression and all those stuff, all right? So a lot of people are not taking their diet seriously when they're natural and they're blaming that for uh, why they're not in shape and why someone's on juice has all that six pack. It's not because you're natural that you don't have a six pack. It's because you're eating KFC two, three times a week or you're, I don't know, eating McDonald's every morning. That's the reason. Take your diet seriously, take your training seriously, push yourself and eat well and trust me, you'll be amazed of how much you can, how good you can look naturally. And when I realized that, this click happened in the lockdown, I'm like, whoa, I'm so lean shredded. Everything that I thought I would achieve taking steroids, I achieved it with a proper diet and proper training and doing my cardio while walking, doing my training, eating properly. And I'm saying eating properly doesn't mean one cookie a day. No, you stick to a diet, you follow it. Trust me, you look at your body, you look in the mirror and you'll just be impressed and amazed of how look good you can look naturally. And then I'm like, well, why do I need to take SARMs or steroids or PEDs or all those stuff if they are gonna go through ups and downs and invest money and go through ups and downs and ruin their hormones and it's gonna cause them to do a PCT and then they're gonna have to do a, another cycle because they're dependent on it. Whereas I'm looking so good right now and I'm progressing and I'm enjoying every step of it and I look better than them. So I reached that point of, it's not even worth it, but I don't even need it. Trust me, I don't even need it. At the gym when I get that pump and I look at myself and I'm, I'm just so happy with the way I look. Well, if ever I would go on steroids and become 20 pounds heavier, lean, shredded, and everything, I wouldn't even enjoy anymore the way I look now, all right? So why do that to myself? I'm happy staying where I'm at and I'm progressing and my mood is good, I'm under every, everything is under control, my hormones are perfect, my health is perfect, I'm not sacrificing my health, I'm not dependent on anything, my gains 
and my strength is not dependent on whether I'm on a cycle or not. It's not costing me financials that are blowing out the budget. What else? What else? What else? Uh, well, all the side effects pretty much, I don't, I don't need to deal with them. All right. Why? Because I was able to kind of surpass that temptation and thanks to God, thanks to the, all the injury that I got, it forced me to. And now I realize that the human body naturally can achieve so much. All right. If you're watching this, you're tempted by taking steroids. Let me, let me give you one advice. Stay natural for another year, but this time, take your diet seriously and take your training seriously. All right. Push yourself at the gym, follow a proper plan and eat correctly. It doesn't mean two cheat meals a week. It means eat correctly. The cheat meal, no cheat meals. Make sure that your diet feeding you enough and giving you all the nutrients that you need without you having the need to take a cheat meal. I mean, you can enjoy your time yourself from time to time, but if you're cheating every two, three days and then you're telling me you have love handles and you want to take steroids, then come on. It just doesn't make sense anymore, all right? Be strong enough to hold on to a diet, a training plan. Trust me, yourself will not even want to take steroids after realizing how far you'll be able to go naturally so that's it for this video guys steroids is tempting but you know what the rewards that you'll get from achieving your dream body naturally is just the the feeling of being proud of yourself that you didn't have to go through that shortcut all right will just will just stay there forever all right and people will just respect you on a different level it's not only about how people respect you will respect yourself even uh, so much more so that's it for this video guys i hope that i inspired someone to stay natural today do it for another year don't take too long term sometimes we want to have everything figured out even a year might be too much another three months another six months naturally good training good diet and trust me you will be more than happy if you have questions leave them down below and i'll see you soon ciao